Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 25 and in this video I'm going to walk you through the WordPress menu system. Alright then guys, so I've gone ahead and opened up this header.php file which is where the navigation is being loaded in and if you look down here towards the bottom, this PHP function right there is where all the magic is happening, okay? This is a WordPress function called WP Nav Menu. And then within this function, we're passing through an array of different properties and values. Now, you might not know what that means, but essentially we're just passing through some options or settings, if you like, to WordPress so that we can tell it how we want to display the menu and which menu we want to display. All right. So the first property we're passing through is this theme location one, and we're telling it that the theme location is primary. Basically, we're saying to WordPress, we want this menu to show the primary menu. So what WordPress will do is go into the back end, grab that menu, then bring it back, and it will display this in a UL and LI list um, as links with all the links in that menu showing, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you what that means in a minute. Let's just open up this browser. This is the back end of WordPress. I'm going to go down to appearance and menus and then I'm going to go to manage locations at the top and here you can see that the theme location here this one is called primary menu now we don't have a menu assigned to that primary menu location right there so by default we've already if we go to the code you can see we've already specified we want the theme location to be primary all right which is this one so what WordPress is doing by default is looking here and it can't find a menu assigned to it. So it says, well, okay, I can't find a menu. So I'm just going to show every page that the user publishes in the menu instead. Okay. So currently we only have one page and it's showing that there. But if I go to pages and if I add a new one, I'm just going to call this something like test and I'll publish that. Then we go over here and refresh. Now you're going to see that link up there as well. Okay, so it's currently putting all the pages up there in the menu. Now, a lot of the times you don't want to show every page in your top level menu. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is, let me just delete this first of all. Uh, test trash. What you're going to have to do then is go to the menu section and you're going to have to specify here an actual menu to set up the primary menu. Okay, now I'm just going to select this one menu one, which is the one that comes by default in WordPress. And if we go to edit menus now, you can see that this is menu one. That's the menu name right there. Okay, so you can call it whatever you want. Um, we'll just call this resto and save the menu. Then if we go back to manage locations, you can see that this is updated as well. Okay, so it's still the same. So let's go back and then what we can do is customize this menu right here. Now, currently it's got this home link in it, which I will keep, but let's have a look what other pages we need. Um, right here, we've got all the pages. So it's our story, menu, reservations, news and reviews. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is create this one and these three right here. And then the news one, I'm going to do slightly differently. Okay. So let's go and make those pages first of all in WordPress. So let's go to pages and we'll go to add new. And I'll do one called menu. And what I've done is just grab some Laura Mipsum here from this uh, low result. It's gangster Laura Mipsum because I am down with the boys and that kind of shizzle. All right, let's paste it in there. And this could be any old junk for now. Then I'll create a new page, add new. And we'll call this reservations. We'll pop that in again, publish it, and then we'll add a new one. We'll call this our story. Paste that in, and I think the last one was reviews. Yep, we'll add one more, and we'll call this reviews, and we'll paste that in and publish it. All right then, so let's add those pages in to the navigation. So we'll go down to appearance again and go to menus. And right here, we're going to add these in. So you can see we've got pages here. So I'm going to click reviews, our story, reservations and menu. And I'm going to put that to the menu over here by clicking this add to menu button. Okay, so now all these 
are in the menu and we can rearrange them however we want, okay? If I was to put this one in a little bit like that, this now becomes a sub menu of this or a sub list of this list item right here. I don't want that, I just want it to be all one level, okay? So that is the navigation except for the news, okay? So let's save it for now and just take a look in the website to see how it's looking. If I refresh, now we're gonna see all these here, all right? And what I wanna do now is create a new category called news. And the reason I'm gonna do that, if I go to posts, categories, the reason I'm doing this is so that we can create a few dummy posts and assign them into the news category. Okay, so let's put that there. News, the slug is gonna be news. Uh, parent is none, we don't need a description and we'll add that category. Then we'll go to posts, add new, uh, whatever, uh, we sell meat, and then just paste that lower rip some stuff in there, and it's going to be in the news category like that, okay? So we'll publish that, and then we'll do one more, I don't know what else can sell, we sell um, veg, this is really boring guys, I'm so sorry, um, there we go. Publish that. So we've got two posts now within the news section or two blog posts which are in the news category. Now when you click on the news link in the top level menu, what I want to happen is to show a list of all the latest news items. So I can do that in the menu system. I'll go down here to appearance and then menus again. And then what I'm going to do is go to categories. See we've got all these options that we can put into the menu. The first one is pages, then we've got posts, if there's any specific posts you want to put in the top level menu. Then there's custom links, normally this is for an external link to another website or something. And then categories, you can see this news item right here, so I'm going to click that and add that to the menu. And then that's going to be a link to the news page or the news archive page if you like. You saw we did a tutorial on styling up and creating the archive.php file. So that's gonna take you to the news category archive page, which is gonna show all the posts in the news category. So let's save this menu again, and come out here and refresh. Hopefully we're gonna see it up here now, yep. News, and if I click that, it's gonna to go to the news category archive right there, okay? So it's like clicking this thing right here, perfect. And there's only one in that, and I did do two. Is it because I didn't assign the second one? Let's have a look. We sell veg. Uh, yeah, that's because I didn't assign that right there. So let's update that again. And refresh. And now you can see both of them. They're like that. Perfect. All right, and if we click on these other links as well, it's going to take you to the different pages like that. And we've already styled up this page.php template. So that's why it's showing like that. All right. So that is how we assign our dynamic menu in WordPress and how we add links to it. All right then, so I hope that explains how we can control the menu in WordPress. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in that very next video.